the people go to church to hear the preacher preach the gospel of Jesus and his grace because of sin. Now, what is sin? The transgression of the law, according to 1 John 3 and 4. So sin is the transgression of the law. But modern Christianity tells us that the law has been done away with, it's been nailed to the cross, we don't need it anymore. So, law, modern Christianity says we don't need you anymore, brother, you can go sit down. So now, now, the people go to church to hear the preacher preach the gospel of Jesus and His grace because of what? Sin, but what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law, but we got a problem. If we say that the law is done away with and we don't need it anymore, then what is sin? Sin's the transgression of the law. So if you have no law, by definition, you can have no sin. So you can go sit down, Miss Grace. Thank you. All right, so now let's do it again. The people go to church to hear the preacher preach the gospel of Jesus and His grace because of what? Because of sin, right? We fell into sin. We needed God's grace. But notice, when you take away the law, you have no sin because sin is the transgression of the law. So you take away the law. By definition, you also take away sin. When you take away sin, why do you need grace? If you have no law, you have no sin. If you have no sin... Why do you need grace then? So brother, thank you. You can go sit down. So now the people go to church to hear the preacher preach the gospel of who? Jesus. But what did Jesus do? He died for our sins. But if you take away the law, then you take away sin. If you take away sin, then you have no grace. Because you have no need for grace. If you take away grace, then what did Jesus do? He didn't do anything though if you take away the law. Are you seeing the point? And so, you can go sit down, Mr. Dean. Thank you. And so now the people go to church to hear the preacher preach the what? Now, what's the gospel? The good news. But hold on. What's the good news? Of Jesus. But if you have no law, you have no sin. If you have no sin, then you have no grace. If you have no grace, then you have no need of Jesus. And if you don't have Jesus in the equation, then what's the good news? You have none. Are you with me? So thank you. You can go sit down. So now the people go to church to hear the preacher preach a whole lot of nothing. Are you with me? Hey, just feel good messages scratching the itching ears of their congregation so they get that right there. Are you with me? This is what's happening. But if that's what the preacher's doing, then why do you need a preacher? You don't. And in fact, a lot of churches are realizing this, so they don't even have preachers. So you can go sit down, Brother Nick. Thank you. Preacher. So now the people go to church to wear their suits, show off their new Sunday's best and their ties. Women wear their dresses. Ooh, look at my new dress. Are you with me? So that everyone in our community and everyone in our family, so that everyone around us will think that we are a good Christian. So if that's what church is about nowadays, then why even go? So a lot of people are catching on to that. And they're saying, there's so much hypocrisy in the church. The Christian doesn't match up to the Christ, so I'm not going to go anymore. Ecclesiastes 12, 13 tells us, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. To be obedient to God and follow His will in our life. We do not obey God, friends, because we feel like we have to. We obey God because we love Him.